Hi, this is Bruno again. Thank you for listening to the song and my review in this channel. This LP vinyl is Bach, cello suite number one in G major, BWV 1007, the second movement, Allemand. Pablo Casals played the cello. This recording was recorded in 1938. The condition of the vinyl is very good in spite of the long period of time. It was played with Nordmandy Phono Super 59Z vintage tube turntable made in West Germany in 1959 and still it is working beautifully. This evening, I hope to talk about Bach and his cello suite number no. 1 in G major, BWV 1007. Johann Sebastian Bach stands as a titan of Baroque music. Revered for his unparalleled counterpoint, intricate compositions, 
and profound musicality, Bach's works continue to inspire and challenge musicians and audiences today. I will talk about one of his most celebrated pieces for solo cello, the cello suite number no. one in G major, BWV 1007. Born in Eisenach, Germany, Bach spent most of his career working for various German cults and churches. Primarily a composer of sacred music, he also produced instrumental works of immense beauty and complexity. His six suites for solo cello, of which suite number one is the first, represent a pinnacle in the solo cello repertoire. The exact date of composition for the solo cellos, actually the cello suites, remains unclear, but scholars believe they were written sometime between 1717 and 1723 during Bach's time as Kapellmeister, music director, to Prince Leopold in Cretan. Unburdened from the demands of composing primarily for church services, Bach flourished during this period, producing some of his most renowned instrumental works, including the Brandenburg Concertos and the Violin Sonatas and Partitas. The cello solo number no. one in G major follows a standard Baroque suite format consisting of six movements. Prelude, a majestic introduction showcasing the lyrical and expressive capabilities of the cello. Its improvisatory character sets the stage for the suite's explanation of emotions and musical ideas. Allemande, a stately dance in moderate tempo, featuring graceful melodies and intricate counterpoint between the cello's high and low registers. Curanti, a lively dance with dotted rhythms and a more playful mood. Sarabande, the emotional heart of the suite and characterized by its slow tempo, poignant melody, an introspective nature. Minuet 1 and 2 Two contrasting minuets, the first being more restrained and the second reliever and playful. Jig, a fast and energetic concluding movement in triple meter, drawing the suite to a virtuosic and joyful close. Bach's cello suite number no. one demands remarkably technical skill from the cellist. It explores the full range of the instrument, requiring agility, flawless intonation, and a deep understanding of Baroque performance practices. Beyond technical mastery, however, the suite's true power lies in the expressive depth. Each movement evokes a distinct emotional state, offering a universe of musical beauty and reflection for both former and listener. Bach's cello no suite No. 1 has transcended its time and genre to become a staple of the cello repertoire. Its influence can be felt in the works of later composers like Beethoven and Brahms. Renowned cellists from Pablo Casas to Yo-Yo Ma have championed this work, leaving their own interpretative stamp on its timeless music. Thank you for listening to the song and my review once again in this channel, and I hope you had a pleasant time. See you next time. Bye!